we're gonna take a look my first Lyle love tune up here at totally guitars it's about time it's about like 10 years past time um, this was a request from one of my students and uh, been just like um, Bruce Coburn recently been thinking why have I not done any Lyle love tunes so this was a perfect excuse to get to one this is, of course, an early one of his, second album, 1987, Pontiac. The tune is If I Had a Boat. Now, uh, it's still a real popular tune in his concerts and stuff like that, and, and definitely a lot of fun to play. Now, Lyle has Lyle is a really good finger picker. He, would, he is what I would call fluent at finger picking. Uh, there are a lot of singer-songwriters that are only uh, adequate at it. Now, when I when I say fluent, I, I'd also throw in people like Paul Simon, James Taylor, a whole bunch of them. But um, the what makes his stuff unique, but also uh, more difficult than others, is that he never has to do it the same way. He he can change it around as he goes, and he's just he's fluent. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about some specific ways he plays a lot of those measures, but and then some of the variations. But all you really have to do is get the um, the basic tricks down, kind of, and then mix and match it, you know? I mean, so don't come back to me and say, hey, in this one live version, in, in the, at, at two minutes and 13 seconds, he did something different. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the stuff he does, most of the stuff he typically does. Uh, some, a really unusual thing about this song is it's capoed at the ninth fret. Now, if you put a capo at the ninth fret on your guitar, you better have a tuner handy because chances are it's going to be really badly out of tune, the bass strings particular. So make sure, get your guitar tuned uh, close, standard, and then put the capo at the ninth. Make sure it's not too tight. Now, there are a lot of different capos out there. The kind that look, look like big seek, big clamps will really stretch those strings out of tune. Stay away from those. Um, I'm a fan of these shub capos for a, a few reasons. One is they're pretty, they're about as small as you can get and not, not uh, get in your way. I usually don't put, put it on this way. I would consider, you know, putting it on uh, with the open side down. I usually put it on the other way because it's just easier to reach. But in this case, we need some room out here to play up at the ninth fret. So, um, so you know, put it on upside down. It also doesn't have to be really close to the fret up here. You can, you can have it, I have it almost in the center of the ni the ninth fret and that gives me a little bit more room now you don't need a lot of room here because you're not playing any hard chords the chords are real simple most of them are just two fingers down and in fact, all of them except for one or two and he does play a d shape of a chord with his thumb wrapped around but you, it's totally reasonable to do that not that way if you have trouble wrapping your thumb around and getting the d most of the time you can play it um, with just three fingers and let me, let me rethink this for just about every chord your third finger is on the second string at the third fret which is really the twelfth fret because of the capo here at the ninth and we do have a, a really distinctive triplet roll in the beginning so this if um, this is not a good place to start your finger picking career because it's fast and it has a really unusual techniques Many of my John Fahey lessons include this this role where Fahey does or and a reverse one, but um, Lyle does what I would call a forward triplet role, which means putting two fingers between bass notes and the bass notes rather than just one finger on the and. Um, Okay, I think that's it for the preliminary stuff. The song's pretty simple as far as parts go. We'll talk about the arrangement, but we've got a verse and a chorus, and the introduction has the most um, varied stuff going on. He does, does a lot of hammer-ons onto his G chord that he plays, again, with just two fingers. Now, because the cape wing is far up the neck, the official key is E. So we're, we're this is, um, as I mentioned, this is about as far up the neck as, I can't think of any other song that I've done a lesson on, I may have forgotten, because there are well over a thousand, um, uh, that has the capo this far. You know, some at the eighth, I think Cats in the Cradle was at eight. Uh, we got tunes at the seventh, Here Comes the Sun. Uh, sixth, we got Scarborough Fair, John Barleycorn, down around five or six, depending. Anyway, but you put a capo this far on the guitar, and you, the guitar sounds like a mandolin. Great little pattern there, here. Lesson on, if I had a boat. 